Let's have a look at question 16 in this video. So if the salary for young employees is equal to zero, the participation constraint is satisfied. Now, what is a participation constraint? It is the condition under which the young employee is going to work, but he's going to work doing the bare minimum. And the bare minimum for him would be just to take the risk of shirking, of not putting in the effort when he is young. So we want to find out the utility of a young employee when he is shirking. But we did that in the previous video, so we're going to use that over here. We calculated that the utility, the utility of shirking, the utility of shirking would be this one over here. So we already pl plotted some numbers, so let's just uh, use that. I'm going to copy it over here below. So this was the utility of shirking, right? This was the utility of shirking, and now because we assume that the wage of the young employee is zero, that's the condition, what's going to be the utility of the young uh, guy when shirking? Well, that probability is just a half multiplied with the utility of a young guy would be zero plus, and this thing over here is 65. So zero plus 65 is 65. 65 times a half is 32.5, and that would be the utility of a young guy shirking now 32.5 is better than nothing is better than zero because the alternative of not even trying to share would be not doing anything no wage no cost so that would be zero and this is better in other words this is enough to give the incentive of the young person to at least do the bare minimum to try and shirk so yes the participation constraint is satisfied the answer is true and we are done